Coffee too. Mm -hmm. It's just perfect timing. The game will start now. Okay, Arabia it is. It's a green version. So I'll start. I'll name the civs if you don't mind. Um, yeah, go ahead. On the left flank, POZ on the north side, there's Toby, Koreans. His pocket on the left side is Ding, Huns. That's about as good as you could want there. Looks like they also have the Tutan pocket with B-Virus on the other side. So mm -hmm. I'd say that yes. POZ nailed it because they got Korean and Britain on flanks. Yeah, the archer civs. They're laughing because they're so excited about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> And on the other side, on the far right side, we have Juan Saracen. Mm -hmm. We have FedEx Pocket Celt. That's not what you want. They have Nikov Mongols Pocket. And they have Franks. So, I mean, if they could have had um, Frank's pocket, Franks Pocket yeah. Celt switch, that's what they want. But having Frank on the wing like that is kind of an exposed situation. So, they're going to look to try and apply pressure. To Patton. And, you know, I know that ZZ likes to do their team wall stuff. Mm -hmm. They could here, but all of Patton's gold is sitting kind of at the base of a hill. Except yeah. where's his third? Okay, his third's way out front still, so I mean, yeah. Patton is very vulnerable here. Yeah, all the gold's to the front and side. Mm hmm. Other than that, it looks like they could team wall should they choose to. Um, FedEx has actually not a great map for FedEx. These hills kind of like intrude on his ability to lay TCs where he would probably want. Mm -hmm. The back wood, for example, is like he wouldn't be able yeah. to do one in the back wood. He he won't be able to do one like on a stone wood combo. <laughs> You can get close with one, and then both of the golds are so close, but really you could only put maybe one TC between there. Mm -hmm. So FedEx is in a... I mean, it's just not desirable. I mean, and Nikov's wood is really far. He's wide open to the front. So, I mean, yeah, we'll see here. This isn't, like, as far as map goes, this is what, isn't what ZZ wants, because I know that they're going to want to push this later into the late game where they're... Um, Civ's balance and power are probably a bit better than yep. the POZ squad. What is Tsunami saying there? Gracias? Yeah. Was there a boss deal? You. Yeah, yeah. But and for what? It, it, I don't know. I think maybe he gave... Um, uh, Juan went and stole sheep and... <laughs> four, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he gave. Oh, so he gave him sheep, and I think he's gonna send sheep back now or something. I don't know. Yeah, I missed it. Oh, rat stole two sheep back. That's important. <laughs> yep. There were no sheep. Be down two sheep already sucks enough. Mm hmm. Britain versus Saracen's kind of nice for them too. They're only really surrendering thumb ring. And maybe a little bit of eco, but or Britain probably has better eco yes. and range, and Juan will have thumb ring. I wonder if they'll try and press it with uh, Tutan versus Frank and Pocket, though. I also don't know if Juan can quite wall this very easily. I guess I'm sure he's never seen a map. He doesn't think he can wall, but <laughs> I have to step away. My mom is calling. Okay. No problem. Yes. Oh, Hello. Dear. Do you hey. running back? Okay, it seems to be muted now. 280. Yeah. Yes. Now I'm not muted. Yes, absolutely. You'll follow 280 and then One you'll sec. Like, just stay on the lane after 280 it becomes two lane and it'll take the um, right Where can I mute? And then you'll be able to take the Dale Street exit. I'm, I'm so slow. It's really only like three turns from the road you're on. It's really nice. Okay, found it. Okay, 
barracks is up for Potin and no. militia out. So Drush here with Franks. Probably um, Drush wall and then fast castle into knights. He can wall off to the side very nicely. Yes. With these two forests here, just yeah, needs to close this gap. And he shields his gold there. Archers or yeah, crossbows yes. could probably hit from the back, but who knows. I'm gonna unmute Wack again. Okay. Perfect timing, I think. And also Drush from uh, Paris or Juan here. Let's go to Rats, see what he's doing. Yeah, he has three militia out. Scout is near. Scout fight there. Rats has the upper hand and he's bringing militia as well. Yeah, FedEx needs to retreat. Okay, now there's the small hill. That's gonna be important. No. Yay. Game is. No, no, no. Pause. Just a hiccup. <laughs> yeah, I think Rats needs to retreat there with the help of FedEx. It's not worth fighting. Uh, Patin closed this gap, that's good. He will be rather safe. Let's follow his militia. Palisade walls from uh, Toby. So yeah, not much to do. He might go to the pocket now. But Ding has also palisaded his wood, that's fine. And further in the back, well, there's the berries. Gold is palisaded, so he's safe. Whack. That was a nice sneeze. I'm back. Yes, hello. Um, yeah, militia from Potting can't do much there. Palisades all over the place. Okay, what else? And two rangers coming up for Toby. Mm -hmm. They're gonna go be aggressive here. He's gonna mass up and they're gonna go downhill on him. Yeah, I think so too. If Goff's gonna open boom too, so if uh, Patton has any kind of a shaky part or shaky start here with defending, it's gonna get ugly fast. Yeah. Wow, a huge wall there in the back from Patton. Mm hmm. I think he knows, sees the writing on the wall a little bit. He sees that. Um, I'm gonna get his line of sights just so I don't screw this up. He mm -hmm. sees that it's two range and he's going archers and he's gonna have like he's gonna get up. He's probably gonna want to place. Maybe he won't place a tower right away, but because it won't, his archers won't be able to reach his miners. But yes. I think he can expect a full push coming. Just looking at the militia from Juan from Paris, just yeah, harassing a little. Yeah, he's just gonna sit at hill, the hill and try and get the points off the bills as much as possible. Gary's going to oh, stables with um, Mongols. One got man at arms. He killed Oops. Him. Yep. No, Rats is in trouble until he gets his arch out. And he's uh, missing a hundred food to go up here. And he has six active farms. That's okay. You can just wait for it and get the yeah. nature out. Still has some oh berries no. there. Got in his wood. He's oh no! Yes. What is Rats Ooh, doing now? To be fast. Run. This one will, will go down. Yeah. Well, she took a lot of abuse. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, so uh, Juan got the most out of his three militia and men at arms now. That's really nice. First few archers He's from Toby. Fast. Yeah. He's yeah. Uh, gonna boom this in the open. So we'll see how much of an impact Ding has with two stables here. Um, maybe I got that wrong. Nikov is on one stable, as far as I can see, and he just scouted the two stables from Tammy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Putin is rather safe at the moment. Wow, Toby went YOLO, just running in. And... Two. Yes. And his mm -hmm. yeah, He's going to be able to harass a little bit. Well, it's just three archers. Hmm. I mean, it shouldn't be able to kill anything, but... Yeah, great. It should still do something. Yeah, force idle time. Okay, minute 17, the first knights are at. Let's see what they're doing. I think one is um still open. Let's see if he can close this wall. I don't think he's that concerned about closing his wall down right now because he has more army and is going to be taking the action to them. Yeah, oh, we that got a nice stables too. Roger. Yep, they're going to be aggressive. They're going right to the hill. If I mean. They need to be building that TC for rats as fast as they can. Yeah, he's going for it. Ready. Mm, the TC has to go up fast now. 70%. He didn't finish his wall. Yep. Yeah, okay, so this... Two more, two more. Ah, lost three villagers there. Three of them. Oh, and the second TC no, at the wood. Lost the hill. Yeah. Another villager down. Where are the knights? There's okay. other villagers walled in. So this isn't good for rats. Yeah. Yeah, he's lowest score in the game. PZ, PZ is squandering there. Set up. Yeah. 30 population while Juan is on 52. Well, that's because he fast castled as well. But yeah. Not, not too long. They're going to clean this now, and he can maybe try and catch up a little bit. I know he's lost probably like five or six bills at this point, but if he gets three TCs running for longer, mm -hmm. he can probably make up some of that difference. And his ranges are faster, so you can maybe catch up a little there. So we'll just have to see how it goes. But Juan is going like hard. He's making a third archery range, so he's probably going to yeah. go ballistics, thumb ring, defense, podkin, and just try and like totally control this because I don't think he wants to go imperial or, or get let Britain go imperial and have the, the long range archer war on the side. And FedEx and uh, V Virus looks yes. like they're pretty equal right now. Mm -hmm. True. As far as um, population scores go. Toby's just and defending Nikov his gold. A... Nikov is going to have to start getting knights out right now because with being on his farms and stuff, his economy isn't going to be what he mm -hmm. wants it to be for open booming. That smart play from uh, Juan there, he's leaving this gap open and just uh, waiting for enemy army to come in. Yep, that's his pass. He's gonna get a heads up too with FedEx flaring there.
Yeah, Rats needs to go back now. Some camels out from Nikov, forcing back Ding or Tammy. Good fight Rats there in the west. Military. Oh, yes, I oh, agree. Plan on B-Virus bailing him out. Is B-Virus only called theirs is RTC? That was confusing. I think FedEx Eco is probably better than B-Virus is. Um, Potten yeah, is losing a lot of archers right now. They're in the very west. I wonder why he why he went uh, Drosh FC into archers. Um, with Franks, he could have done stables just as well. Yeah, I think he was worried about just having so many um, archers to go against when Nikov is booming. Mm -hmm. Like their whole goal is going to be to get Nikov ahead of Ding as far as he can get. So he can kind of control the other side. And he will eventually switch to Paladin's Pat, that is, but it's still like. They they just need him to survive, and he could probably. Maybe he feels better about being able to defend with archers than knights. I think Juan might lose some army now. He's up against knights and archers. Yeah, he's gonna lose it all if he, if he doesn't go back. There's still two idling knights there. Yeah. He, he got out there. I was lucky. See the population between him and Rats kind of closed down. It's about mm -hmm. seven now. And I mean, that's kind of the thing about going fast castles. You can accelerate your population a lot better. Yep. Juan's got his TCs up now too, and he has an extra range, so. He will probably go up a little faster. Patton is just in full defense mode. He only made one other TC so far. Oh, yes. rats losing archers now. Oh, camels. They're going, they went camels. That's that's not what you want. <laughs> nope, not really. You don't want any camels in an archer war. <laughs> they just fall. Yeah. And that's a nice All hill there. All they to do is keep building, but if they get into, if they were to break into Patton and neutralize the Mangonel, Patton will lose twenty bills. Yep, he's easily. Going out to a ding might be able to trap him out. That could be even worse. And if um, to Toby's being really smart here, if he just goes to Nikov, wonder if he can catch that castle. But if he just goes there and kind of sits on his rest, he can't counter him with camels. This is actually really smart by POZ. I like what they're doing. If you're trying to win, obviously, Fed yeah. and Gary and these guys are some of my best friends. But it's like, if you're looking to win, this is a smart play. Potin That's and cool. Nikov want to secure the back now of the yellow base, but POZ is going for the pocket. Might deny this. Ah, do they see the castle though? No, it, it will go up. Yeah, it'll, it'll be up. Toby's let him know now. Yes. And Dings. And now they'll run into the yellow archers. Yeah, he's got to get out of the range of the TC and then it'll be right. These camels are just having no impact. Yeah. They only have a positional impact, making the knights move around a little bit, but as far as their actual, like, combat value, it's not I think B-Virus has more knights there than uh, FedEx. Mm-hmm. FedEx is pumping, though. He's adding, and he's also adding pikes, which, even though they have bloodline plus two, it's tough, because now you're just seeding action to them, like, both pockets for POZ are in superior positions now. Oh wow, Nikov is getting raided hard. Yeah, he's calling for them to go and like attack because when he gets up, he's not gonna have enough economy to even make units. He's running bills all over the place. He's gonna, yeah. he almost would lose this TC. He's gonna Ding's gonna run from that now. But I mean, they're slowing Nikov down in just the proper way.
Tsunami and Rats are gaining ground. Uh, they, I think they're going towards FedEx now, yeah? Mm -hmm. There are they anywhere near up. Yeah, one will be able to up in a minute or two, I think. He has pretty good eco going, and he just needs a building and a little more gold income. I think this raid here is really awesome for POZ. Um, it, it slows down the Mongol. Yep, that's exactly what you want. I mean, he's been wasting gold and time on camels too. I mean, if he went knights, he probably would have defended this better. Could have defended himself. Yeah, bad fight there. Tammy lost all the knights. Okay, Juan is in Felix's base. Now with the extra knights from uh, Teal, mm -hmm. this could go down Yeah, he's gonna get that Meganel and then Rats will be able to use his Expos again. Oh, I wonder if he's gonna see that second Meganel that FedEx did in Garrison. Yeah, it's there. Or if B-Virus is gonna continue to not watch his knights. There we go. Oh, he's gonna go over to Juan now and start hitting him. Mm -hmm, the reinforcements. Yep, cutting him off. That's a really good move, actually. Just yeah. isolate FedEx like that. Like FedEx is overmatched now. Yeah. Doesn't have enough eco. Doesn't have a good, fast enough unit. And really, he's getting hit from the other side too yeah. by Ding and um, Toby. Toby. Really, yeah. this is looking really good for POC at the time. Yeah. FedEx is up, but it's not like he can do anything with this. Mm -hmm. So is Nikov. He is up, but he got. Hurt a lot. Ding is pushing in on Patton. If he's able to break in here, it's gonna be really tough. Patton is almost up though, but he's also like all his gold is out front there. If he loses that front, he's not gonna be able to do anything. Cavalier upgrade. Yeah, where's Patton's third gold? Oh, Ding's already on it. <laughs> <laughs> He's on it, yeah. That's That was yeah, the one he's outside. Got in his bit, like... Oh, wow. Patton is dying right now. Patton's dead. Yeah. Patton will not be able to continue to make pace. Um, it's all on Nikov, really. His FedEx is behind. I mean, he, he does still have some stuff going on, but he's 40 population down versus a Civ that's going to make Paladins. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can make Halop too, but when you trace them all over the map, it's tough, like, pocket versus pocket Arabia hell versus Southern isn't very good. In a choke point on something like a passing on Highland or Yucatan, it's totally different. They're really good value then, but this is not good for CZ. FedEx getting some pikemen out with Kelts, they're faster. So let's see if he can hold thing, against students. Yeah. One thing that's going to help him, though, is that... Um, Juan is going to start pushing with Rams, and when that happens, I think that, um, well, why is Rats sacrificing villagers and archers right now? That's going to be bad. So that's going to help FedEx a lot, because the virus will be called over there. Yes, very and Juan soon. Will lose when that happens, but it will give FedEx time. They will keep their team alive in the short term, although Patton is just toast. Yeah, some Mangadai and crossbows, but I think the Cavaliers will clear them all. I'm sorry, I need to step out. My folks are here, so... Yes, you said your parents are head out. visiting, so thanks um, a yeah, lot. Just go on mute for now. I might pop in to see if it's been decided. Yes, okay, thanks for co-casting. See you work. Okay. Paladin upgrade now for Ding. He is... Uh, Top score, 150 population. Hmm, where do we move whack? Maybe here. Okay. And 
a lot of ramps out now for uh, Paris, for Juan. Yeah, it's Paladins all over the base. Putin is out of the game right now. Let's see if um, Nikov can can save him somehow. More elite Mangidai coming up, plus four attacks, so Brazer and Chemistry have been researched. Ah, but it's still way too many Paladins there. Let's check the battle now. Arbalest upgrade, capped ram upgrade. And there are plus four as well. And here is Tsunami, better known as Buvirus and Teal. How's it going for FedEx? Yeah, he had some time to recover now. He got the help upgrade. Yeah, but this is really smart now from from Blue uh, with his, I don't know, 15 or so crossbowmen. He can pick up some helps now. Will FedEx transition into uh, into boat raiders? That is a question. He doesn't have too many castles. Um, well, there are a few. Big fights or not? No, not just yet. Um, they are retreating towards the west, but if um, Juan pushes to the north now, then they have to to take action. And I think that's what they're trying. Yeah, rats. Needs to go back, needs to get his army count up. This 10 archers here won't do anything. If this castle here falls, then that's it. I guess Tsunami is waiting for the Paladin upgrade. And then they can strike. Yeah, he's saying okay. And go. FedEx is there now with a few helps, but yeah, Rats needs to follow. He needs to follow. Pick up the helps. Yeah. Meanwhile, Potin secured one villager here, and. Yeah, this TC is in trouble as well. He ran with villagers here to Nikov's base. Let's see how this fight goes. Yeah, Tsunami pushing back Juan with Paladin now, plus four attack, plus four defense. And now they have to be quick. They can turn this around really quickly now if they have trebuchets or siege rams. Let's see. And Toby is asking for resources to get uh, war wagons out. Or what he called a car made of wood and gold. That's a nice way to put it. Okay. Yes. And there is the GG. Yep. Nice move there. And they let Juan push just to throw him back again. Putin uh, got destroyed, as we can see, and uh, well, here these paladins picked up um, quite some Mangidai as well. Team score 10,000 against uh, 7,700. So, wow, I'm gonna update the scoreboard one sec. This is the 4 to 2 for POZ, and uh, I think most people would have expected uh, the Dreamers team to take this one. So, uh, awesome match, surprising result, and uh, great matches, um, every single one if you ask me. Um, wow, yeah, let's just uh, check the achievements. Mm, like this. Okay. Yeah, not much slinging, maybe towards the end here from Tammy over to Toby to get his war wagons out, but they weren't needed in the end anymore. Um, Tsunami played it very awesome. If you ask me, um, Rats, he really saved Rats there. 
Rats made some mistakes, but Tsunami played almost flawless there and yeah, won that side. On the other side, Potin, Franks, Flank, that is not what you want, and he went Drush into uh, Crossbowman. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. And then, yeah, Toby and Ding with Koreans and, and Hans were able to to raid um, Nikov and slow him down with his um, Mangudai production. Yeah. Great game. Let's go back, see what the players are saying. <laughs> 